Well, hey there. How are you? Actually, the question I want to ask you is, who are you? Or maybe more importantly, what do you want to be? Most of us have some vague idea of what we want out of life, but many of us don't pursue it. Why is that? Stick around and we'll explore things that may be holding you back. If you're new here, welcome. I hope in the next few minutes to give you a reason to subscribe and check out more of Driving Me Crazy. So, what's the one goal that you've always dreamed of accomplishing but never really went after? Was it a dream job or career, personal fitness goal, a career endeavor? Whatever that dream or goal is, have you ever stopped and had an honest conversation with yourself about why you're not going after it? Or why, up to this point, you haven't fully pursued it? For most people, the short answer is fear. Here are ways in which fear holds us back from what we want to achieve in life. A common one is a fear that you're not enough, not good enough, not smart enough, not talented enough, not pretty enough. So many of us allow ourselves to be defined by these definitions of what's good enough. Too many of us see faults in ourselves based on these definitions. But these are other people's concepts of what is or is not good enough. We take that to mean that somehow we're disqualified from being or doing this thing we want to do. For too many of us, the fear of being looked at as not good enough makes us freeze in our tracks. If you find yourself in this moment fearing that you just can't move forward, the first step is to really be honest with yourself. No one is perfect, especially not those people that may be planning the idea in your head that you're not good enough. If you're looking to these role models for some kind of definition of what's perfect, trust me, they're not. If you think you're some kind of a hot mess or totally messed up, okay, well, be willing to admit that, but also be willing to admit that you might just be good enough to do this thing you want to do. To go along with that, we tend to fear the what ifs. What if something goes wrong? What if I fail? What if somebody tells me I stink or laughs at me? Sometimes you have to answer that what if question with another question. What if this doesn't work? Well, then why didn't it work? And remember, we already dealt with this self-doubt nonsense in the previous question. So these what if situations need to be dealt with in an honest way. Question, what if I fail? Answer, then I'll figure out what went wrong and I'll try again. Question, what if people laugh at me or tell me I suck? Answer, then I'll assess where that opinion is coming from. Is it jealousy? Do they have biases? And then I'll remind myself that I determine my self-worth, not them. And then I will focus on the positive feedback that I got, but didn't realize I got because I was too wrapped up in the negativity. Next, it seems that for many of us, we're afraid to just start. We procrastinate, we make excuses. I don't have time, it's a long work week. I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Frankly, a lot of us make these excuses because it'll possibly devastate the comfortable, familiar existence that we had before we tried. Once again, let's be honest with ourselves. If you do something stupid like suddenly quit your job and invest in a thousand dollar camera to go pursue YouTube fame and fortune a week before your mortgage payment is due, well, you probably didn't think through that move very carefully. The only thing you failed at was properly planning. Planning's a conversation for another day. Let's focus on this fear of why we won't try. What all of this boils down to so far is quite simply that we're too afraid to fail. That's why we don't try. Guess what? Human beings learn from failure. Go ahead and screw up. Get it wrong. It's the only way you're gonna figure out what doesn't work, but it requires that you try again. Failure hurts. It hurts emotionally, it hurts intellectually. Hopefully the kind of failure we're talking about doesn't hurt you physically. I don't want to go down that road. But you ever heard of exposure or aversion therapy? One great way to deal with something you're afraid of is to do it over and over again until you get used to it. Let yourself experience it. You'll build up a tolerance. Go ahead, hold that snake, jump in that pool, run that marathon. If you fail, well, and you've had an opportunity to learn. 
an opportunity to try again. As I said in the beginning, all of this boils down to fear. So first of all, let's establish that this failure is not going to kill you. It's not going to ruin you, as long as you plan properly. The good news is, you may actually learn something. Do it even better next time. There's a piece of wisdom that says that life is the hardest teacher because it gives you the test before it gives you the lesson. Succeed or fail, that's how you learn. And in most cases, failure is absolutely necessary in order to grow. By simply shifting our perception of failure as something to be avoided at all costs, and looking at it as a step in the right direction of achieving your goal, failure ceases to be an adversary and becomes an ally. I hope you found this video useful. And hey, I hope you'll pass it along and share it on your social media. I hope I've given you that reason to subscribe. This is a great time to do it if you haven't already. But I wish you success in your goals, my friend. I hope that you will go out and make the world a better place for yourself and everyone else. And remember, when you're out in the world striving to achieve that goal, always try to be nice. Never fail to be kind. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the road.